Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Five Minutes for Fighting. We have a returning guest this week. It is the uh, the PFL highlight reel, Sadabusi. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, man. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. I'm yeah. glad to be here. Absolutely, man. You're uh, you you made the Sports Center top ten last week. You you had yeah. an incredible knockout against Shane Mitchell. The spinning wheel kick, head kick. Uh, just how you feeling? You have a, you've had you have a week to process it now. How you feeling after that? That was a pretty awesome moment. Man, it's not even a week. It's six days. It, it I feels know. amazing. It feels yeah, amazing. Yeah. The thing is, I I actually I I visualized the, that specific knockout and uh, uh, to put that into fruition and get it done and like saying the whole in the whole lead up to the fight, like I want to have a wild knockout. Um, so it, it felt great uh, to be able to get that. Well, a viral knockout. It was. It was. The internet was buzzing from it. Um, how many times do you practice that kick? I mean, it's like I know that like you you have to work on that so many times. I imagine that like when it actually lands, when you actually because you tried it a few times in the fight. I know yeah. I was watching it. You yeah. tried it a yeah. few times. You were yeah. close, but when yeah. it actually lands, I mean, is that just like all your hard work coming to fruition? It's just like a oh, hundred percent. Like yeah. as soon as you land it, like everything. Everything, every ounce of everything that you put in is worth it. Right. The thing is, like, I'm a Taekwondo black belt. Uh, so there, that's like my foundation comes from the Taekwondo. That's why I have a, a heavy kick, kick based style. So I've practiced this kick since 2002, right? So, like, I couldn't tell you how many times I've, I've done, done this in practice. And this is the second or third one I actually finished a fight with that one. Well, congrats anyways, man. That's awesome. So you're in the playoffs. Uh, just how you how you feeling about the playoffs in general? I know that I guess I have to ask you this with the playoffs coming up. There was uh, a kind of some some news about how PFL removed a couple of fighters from the playoffs because of a fight that happened. It was uh, Nathan Schultz and Roush Monfio. And they yeah. uh, it was uh, the PFL rule. It was like they weren't giving their best effort. And then so Shane yeah. Burgos ended up getting the spot in the playoffs yeah. as a fighter who, who, who fights his way into the playoffs. How did you feel about it? Did you think they made the right call? What are your thoughts on it? To be honest, I didn't see the fight because I was just like heading into the arena uh, when they were fighting. So it's hard for me to, to say, like I saw bits and pieces of it, right? Yeah. And the intensity and like the, it didn't, it didn't look good. And the, the thing is, what we need to remember is like, it's a business and like, it's, it's the fight game and PFL are selling fights. So it's hard to sell like something, uh, but at the same time, those guys are best friends, not only friends, like, like they're so, so I understand everyone and I understand that like everything, uh, I, I'm, I'm the wrong person to ask like if, if, it, if it was the right to suspend them on anything, but, but I understand PFL in that sense, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's people are saying, why would you put the two? I get, I get the, the 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 flip side of it is people would say like, why would you put two guys who are such yeah. close friends against each other? Because that's sort of, yeah. um, I think yeah. it, some people say it might have been a predictable outcome. Is that a situation you yeah. found yourself in before, where you have to fight somebody you really like and you just don't want to put your, you kind of agree that you're not gonna go for knockouts or you know, I don't know. I, have, I've, I fought a friend in in Muay Thai. Uh, this was long ago. Uh, but we weren't we weren't like uh, like we we played soccer together when we were kids and both of us then started with martial arts and yeah and we and we fought uh, so uh, it, it's a little bit different to be honest but at the same time uh, I it's hard to say because you you have to you have to understand where the promotion is coming from what do you think what's your what's your take on it. Yeah, I mean, I, I I can see it both ways, but I understand. You know, I'm not I'm not the one who's sh shelling out all the money to to give the fans yeah. what they want. You know what I mean? So I would imagine yeah. if I was in that position where I'm putting down the money and investing, you know, in the in the you know the the broadcasting and all that stuff, you you want exactly. you want the best product. I, I understand. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Jake Paul. Jake Paul was singing your praises. Uh, during yeah. the knockout, uh, did he did he have anything to say to you? Did he like did because he, he, was he there? Was he at the fight? He was not at the fight. Okay. Yeah. Um, he, but, he did uh, tweet about you. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. And I like that. Those things are it's it's it's, it's nice. It's fun because yeah. like to be able that that's like the the showmanship of it, right? 
like the the me saying that I wanted a viral knockout. Like for me, like the the most important thing, the thing that I actually are on my mind every every day, every it's like what do I need to do to get better, right? right. Then when it comes to five week, yeah, it's now it's time to to uh, to be a little like put on put on the game face and you know. Uh, so it's fun when when that works and people actually appreciate that. And um, you said it made top top ten for the sports center. Top it, it came on came on at spot number eight, and I was like, "What do I need to do to get lower than eight? Like get number one, right? What do you need to do? It's, what do you need to do? I mean, how much? You know, and you'd imagine, you know, they see the same kind of highlights every single night. You don't see knockouts like that every single night. You know, so not every single night. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Did, did Jake say anything to you? Did he DM you or anything? Or did you, you know, has he? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I actually haven't. I'm, I've never, I've never met him, never spoke to him. But oh, okay. uh, Got I it. know that he's been, he's been uh, praising me a couple of times uh, on his yeah. uh, platforms. And I really appreciate that. Well, you know, he is fighting at 185, I believe, when he fights Nate Diaz. And he wants to fight MMA. I think I've asked you this before. Is that when his, when his skill set improves, is that a fight you'd be interested in? Because I know he wants to fight some MMA. Or do you think you're still a little too uh, too many levels ahead of him at this point? So, like, I, I wouldn't know because it's impossible to know uh, without seeing him, yeah. him like, <laughs> grapple, wrestle, right? But... I'd, I'd I'd turn around. I'd be happy to help him instead. I'd be happy to to train with him and 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 because he already have the hands. Let's give him some legs. Right, right, right. Absolutely. Yeah, maybe maybe you could give him some uh, some pointers. Uh, there are reports okay. potentially that PFL might be buying Bellator. Just in terms yeah. of how, how would you feel about that as a PFL fighter bringing in all these new all this new wave of this crop of talent from Bellator? Uh, how would you feel about the two merging together? And what what are your thoughts on it as a whole? Yeah, I so I don't know anything about. It. I've heard it just like you have. Yeah, and um, like if that were to happen, uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all because since they want PFL has always been so uh, like so ambitious and like they've been seeking and going after things that are so like just look signing guy like Jake Paul like we spoke about Francis and Gano and like yeah. numerous great fighters. Um, so so it, it wouldn't surprise me at all, and for me like. I love, I'm a competitor. I love competition, right? So uh, wh- whoever is gonna stay in front of me um, is gonna be the people, the person that's gonna make me better. So if if there's a couple of ones from Bellator, so be it. Yeah, it's ex- it'd be exciting too. Be, you know, like maybe a, uh, a a true competitor to UFC because you have you know obviously PFL is growing, but it's you know yeah. it, that's that would be a that would be a way to do it, right? To put the 100%. two biggest competitors uh, together merges one. Just, just think about UFC uh, having their thirty year anniversary this year. PFL only has only been around since two thousand and eighteen, right. and take take away the year twenty twenty because of COVID. Yeah. So PFL are making great moves, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Like you mentioned Francis, just really quick, I talked to you about Francis before yeah. he announced his signing because there were reports that he could go to PFL, and now he's officially a member of PFL. You might have yeah. said something about this before, but really quick, how do you feel about it? You know, you got this the, the heavyweight champion of the UFC joining PFL. We don't know who yeah. he's going to fight, but you know, it's a big move for PFL. It's very, like you mentioned, ambition. That's an ambitious move. That's an ambitious move. I'm so happy for uh, Francis. I'm so happy for PFL, um, and I'm so I'm happy for MMA to be honest, because I believe that um, that is good that you have like competition in terms of UFC is obviously the biggest promotion, um, and and uh, for us as a for me as a fighter. Uh, if if a spider has has more options to go uh, to go to it will put us us in a like better position so so that's why making pfl stronger and, and it's it's it's, it's going to be good for the sport so i believe it's uh i'm very happy about it have you talked to have you talked to francis at all uh, yeah so he tra- he trains out here in, in vegas so we oh, train right. at the same thing with the Super Tour. Yeah, yeah for sure for sure Okay, cool. Awesome. Sadabu, thank you so much for joining me again, man. Uh, best of luck and congrats on an amazing moment. That was awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what's next for you. Appreciate you a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me on and uh, talk soon.